Hello, Dan Matichek here, the Parrot Pilot. Before you watch this video, I just wanted to tell you that this is not necessarily a how-to. This is how I did it. And my goal was to build the wing in one piece and make it as strong as possible and still lightweight. These techniques are uh, my own techniques that I've been using based on my experience as a custom fabricator. My experiences as a uh, building airplanes, model airplanes, is limited. I've only built maybe 10 or 15 airplanes. You may have suggestions or comments about what I've done or uh, maybe an idea how to do it better or how you do it. And I'd appreciate it if you'd post it. Don't assume that anything in here is fact unless I tell you specifically that, you know, the results that I got. And uh, I hope you enjoy watching the video and please leave a rating. Right, thank you. You have, you have big wings? Big wings! Yes. Making my wings, my big wings, I first made a jig and then I slid my wing pieces in place and they already had uh, the lines in it and were bent to, to approximately the right shape. There's a piece in the middle because the blue foam, the uh, fanful foam, is only four feet wide. I slid all three pieces in and buttered them up against each other. I made a lap joint with the fourth piece, marked it off, and perfed it with the end of a bamboo skewer. I'm going about three-fourths of the way through the foam. I use my finger as a stop and trying to keep the holes about half to maybe three quarters inch apart over the entire surface of all three pieces. Then I perfed the, the fourth piece, the lap joint, the same way, and put Gorilla Glue down the seams of the lap joint to fill in any gaps. And I put the glue across the folds that are going to be underneath the lap joint to fill in any gaps. Mixing up a small batch of epoxy. I went down around the outside edge where the pieces meet, where they overlap. I'm spread spreading the epoxy pretty thin putting a, a fine coat of it on the uh, fourth piece, also the lap joint. Just slide the piece in place, slide it up into the, the jig as far as it'll go. And press it down, work it all over so that the Gorilla Glue squishes out between the pieces and up into the small ho holes that I perfed. And then just start piling things on to weigh it down and hold it into place. I used one of the ribs from the uh, plans to make this jig get the uh, shape. I made uh, lines and I just line it up on the edge, mark it off. The end of it is where I mark it off to cut the length of the entire piece. You could also just cut these out with a, uh, a razor blade or a razor knife if you like. Just make small V's. It's a lot easier on the table saw. After I cut the curse, I slid the pieces into the jig. 
nice and firm, keeping it straight. And uh, then I put uh, tape over every one of these pieces, clear packing tape. I used separate pieces about a half inch wide and didn't go past the, the end, so the pieces were only about maybe an inch and a half long. What that does is that, that keeps the shape, so when you pull it off it has the shape. Then I flipped it over and put a bead of Gorilla Glue way down inside, inside the bead. And what it does is it, it expands, I used about an eighth inch bead. Sliding the preformed uh, reinforcing ribs in place where they're going to be and then marking off so that they're flat where I want the uh, underside of the wing to be. Applying the Gorilla Glue on the two edges of the bottom piece, the bottom rib. The Gorilla Glue will expand and uh, help hold the piece on. I also perf the foam where I'm actually applying the glue to uh, help you know, make sure I have a good bond. Sliding it into place and then pushing it up into the against the front of the wing. Once I have it in place, small dabs of hot glue. I don't normally like to use a lot of hot glue for the, because of the weight, but in this case, it, uh, it's the best way of doing it. It's the fastest. Uh, it just holds it in place because the real glue takes 45 minutes or so until it's dry enough that it'll hold them in place. piece that I make my ribs off of, uh, my uh, form, and using it to cut off the ends, the back ends of the ribs. And then I made a spar, or actually a couple spars in the same, same fashion, just the uh, curved end off of the uh, stack of uh, full foam, and Gorilla glued them in place. And you'll see I use uh, masking tape to hold them down, regular masking tape because the glue will stick to the masking tape, epoxy will, and but it won't stick to clear tape. And I put a thin layer of epoxy on the entire edges, all the edges that will touch the bottom side of the wing, the ribs and the uh, spar down the back. Carefully put my pieces in place, and they're overlapped on one of the uh, ribs. And this is a small overlap, but the outside of the wing is going to be reinforced all the way around so I'm not worried about strength on that joint. Plus it's on the underside underneath the fuselage so it's not in a that place that's going to receive a lot of stress. And then just pile things on uh, for several minutes until the, it's nice and uh, cured and ready to go.